Um, yeah, just went in with the plan that we were going to take it out. We kind of knew that, uh, you know, no one else was going to do it. So uh, before the race, my coach kind of, you know, he came up and talked to me and said, you know, you have to go for it, you know. Uh, we want to go no slower than 116. And that was the plan. And uh, and I felt really good, you know, coming in today. So I knew that I could do it. Um, and I knew, like, kind of, like, in order to make the team, I had to be on my A game. If I, uh, you know, came with anything less, if I came with my B game, I probably wouldn't make the team. So coming with the A game and, uh, you know, just doing what, uh, you know, my coach told me to do today, it worked out. The way you ran, you were kind of channeling your inner Johnny Gray. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing, like I said before, he said, take me to the gray zone, you know? And I think that's what I did today. Ran, uh, you know, a very good time today. And the guys on the team, or, or I think we have a really, really good uh, chance of meddling um, in Moscow. Is it meaningful to you? I don't think there has been a, a U.S. race with three Americans under 144, I think, for a few decades, which I think would probably, probably make this maybe possibly even more sweet. Yeah, you know, um, the resurgence of distance running um, in USA is just, it's, uh, you know, it's great to have, you know, us coming up here and, uh, you know, people not doubting us anymore, you know. Um, we can go into, um, you know, um, championships, uh, um, you know, knowing that people are not going to count us out anymore, you know. We're actually, uh, you know, contenders now. The last two years you've kind of reinvented yourself. How have you done so? Uh, just kind of, just kind of believing, um, or, you know, gaining um, experience. And uh, you know, really, uh, like really listening to what Johnny has to say, and, and kind of putting that into work when I run. Because it's so hard to be a, a pro track athlete. You, you must have had times when you wondered, okay, this is really hard. Is this worth it? Yeah, I mean, I had off years. I had, you know, a couple years where I didn't make the team. A couple years where I didn't make it out the first round. So it was hard. You know, you have to suck it up and just kind of, you know, go back and think, you know, do I really want to do this? And um, do I still have it? And uh, you know, going through changes. You know, when I graduated uh, from college, going into my first year was tough. And then the year after that, I got, you know, I got better, got used to it, and then went back to another year was bad. So I think you need those years where you're bad to actually bring you up and motivate you. Why was it worth it to you? Because you're you're asking those questions of yourself at a time when you're not making much money, if any. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's or you know times where you know you just don't want to give up. You know, you know you have the talent, and you know that you have it in you to do it. So you don't want to give up you know, when you know that you can make a really big difference in your career. Dwayne, last 100 meters, what was your what were your thoughts going into there? I mean, you know Simmons always closes hard, he always starts back. Were you afraid of him coming? I mean, did you know he was on you or? Uh, the funny thing is I felt really, really good, um, you know, surprisingly. Uh, my coach said basically run it like it's a um, 750. So I got to the turn, I still felt really good. I started pushing and I was like, man, I still feel good, you know, I can drive home. And. Uh, I was kind of expecting Nick to be there, and I expected it to be one of those, one of those dive at the line kind of, you know, um, you know, um, things. But you know, I'm just happy to get the win. You know, this is my first one, and I beat a really, really tough field. So I'm so excited. Do you think it's possible to beat tradition? Uh, possible? I mean, yeah, anything is possible. You know, I mean, on any given day, anybody can be beat. You know, I mean, we're all human. And, um, he's been beat before, so um, the thing is just to get through the rounds and then get, um, you know, um, like get to the last round and. Try to do from there. Great. Conventional wisdom is it finishing fourth in the Olympics. It's just tremendous misery, and athletes almost can't get over it. That doesn't seem applicable to you in any way. No, man. I came into this race nervous, just as any race. You know, I mean, this is probably one of the, um, um, like, you know, most nerve-wracking races. I mean, I'm more nervous here than I would be at the games, just because if you don't do it here, then you don't have a chance to do it anywhere else. So. Uh, this is what the, um, the big goal was to make this team, and now we can kind of go reevaluate and get ready for the world. That's you can front. Have any other women come through here now? Not the top ones. No. Yeah. Quite a selection. I have like six. I have two more on my chest. So, just do they all mean? All have special meaning to you? I mean, yeah. I, or something? Uh, the, I mean, the meaningful to me. You know, a lot of them for running. Uh, you know, that's part of my life. It's one of the big things. Hey, Mike. Can you turn around so we can take a picture? Uh, are they kind of like motivational or? Is that, is that Christ here on your left Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other side? Olympic rings? Yeah. That's quite a collection. Yeah, yeah. What's on the chest? Yeah, I think I'm dead. Unlike most tattoos, though, I can actually recognize what it is. Most of the stuff is in Chinese characters and is an unintelligible. Yeah, no, mine are ones that actually know and people can read, you know. Good, good call. I know that there are records in your body. Championship, yeah. Yeah. And I think he's preparing to run much more faster speed for Moscow. How do you feel about that? I mean, I have good 400 um, speed as well, so I know 
I'm um, going into race. I feel confident running with anybody in the world right now. And, um, and I'm also more of a, um, like a speed endurance runner. So I like to kind of get out and try to hold it. So, yeah. The entire world looking to run against him and the first American who wanted to watch it. So you have a strong confidence for world championship? Yeah, you know, going in, uh, you know, like coming from the games, actually running with these guys, knowing how they run, um, I'm able to to know that I can compete with these guys. If you have a strong confidence, say something to this Canada. Uh, yeah, you know, ready for Moscow. We have a, um, uh, like a strong U.S. team going out there, so uh, we're definitely looking to go out there and medal for sure.